PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Team in the booth, and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Hello, Luke. Hello, Rich, and hello to the folks at home. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Mr. Palmer has certainly cultivated a fine course here over the years, and uh, this first hole is a beauty, starting out with a dog leg to the left and heading towards a green that is bunkered seemingly everywhere you look. It's got to be interesting to see how the players attack this today. Can't wait to see what goes down here. Let's do this. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Going with a six iron here. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. He's currently tied for sixth. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Opting for the three wood. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yeah, nicely played. This putt coming up is for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. From about 130 yards here. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. That should find the surface. Oh, terrific approach. And a chance for birdie here at the third. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Currently one under for the round. Coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the fourth. Uh, it's a brave one, driver off the deck. Well struck. Getting ready to play their third. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This is a par putt. It's got a chance. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff.
20 feet to the hole. Get in. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Wall hold. And that will take him to two under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Time to tee off at the sixth. Beautiful swing there. The interesting choice of the driver here. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. It starts off on a good line. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Some lovely momentum for this player. Moving up the leaderboard. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Going with the hybrid. This one needs to kick left. That's just inside the range. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. This one's online. That's well hold. Currently at minus three for the round. It's time to begin this powerful hole. No harm, no foul there with that shot. From around 140 yards here. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Yeah, well played. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Went in the hole. An opportunity to make their par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Sitting at minus three, currently tied for top spot. Oh. 
Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Yeah, trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. Okay, so that's step one. But now going to hold a mid-range putt. He has this putt to save his par. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? I tell you, Luke, final nine. Find themselves one back. Do you like the position or don't you? I personally do. Go chase down that leader. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. From about 100 yards. One stroke off the lead. This one's going right at the pin here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Get excited. This could go in. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Just a stroke behind the leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, well done. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, from down here, looking like 25 feet or so to the cup. Looking really good, this one. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And let's have another look at that one. Currently at minus five now for the day. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That was absolutely murdered. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. And that shot back in the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Well played, mate. Not afraid to go deep. This putt's for six under par. Just didn't drop. And this one is for his par. Okay, let's head to the next. He's currently in the second position. off here on the 13th hole. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, look at this. That goes down for an eagle. And right to the top of the leaderboard after that effort.
Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's have a walk down memory lane. And with that, they move into first place. Oh, and they increase. It's impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? This hole is a par three. Is it one you should attack or play the smart shot? Wow, mate, that's some golf back there. An eagle. How good. Wow, what a shot. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. Well, a little off the target with that one. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Lovely touch. Well played. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Leading by a shot after that hole. We have a par four on this one. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yeah, a quality shot, that. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Oh, just missed. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Excellent opportunity to extend that lead. What are they going to do? And Ridge, this player's been hovering in and around top spot the entire day. Do you think they've got what it takes? It's been back and forth all tournament long, hasn't it, Luke? I got to say, I like this player's toughness. They're really hanging tight. It's going to be close to see if they can pull out the victory. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. What a ripper from long range. That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. Our current leader is up by three shots. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Got to say... Just some of the best rhythm in the game. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. This one's for Birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Leading by four strokes after that one.
And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. That should find the fairway. Second shot here at the 18th. Opting for the six iron. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Outside chance here for the birdie. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Good looking putt. And mark it down as another W. What a way to win it. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. And it's time to recap that play. It's been a real dogfight out there today, Rich, but how impressed were you with this player who pulled off the win? It took it just took sheer guts, didn't it? They had to fight tooth and nail all week long, fighting their swing, but figuring it out how to get the wind, willing their way to victory. Unbelievable stuff. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Players' Championship is about to begin. Luke Elvie alongside Rich Beam here at the stadium course TPC Sawgrass. And Rich, this golf course hits you right between the eyes from the opening hole. Opening tee shot, 426 yards, par four for the back tees. It's a very strange angle for the tee shot. Fairway tilts from left to right where the tee box faces you from right to left. So you really have to hit an opening cut shot off the tee to give yourself the best option of finding the fairway here. Misses out to the right or left, leaves a very awkward angle to a green that sits up above you, but also slants pretty severely from left to right. Let's get down to the action. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Second shot here on the first. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Well, that's beautifully judged. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Par five, 532 yards. Drive it out to the right-hand side to give yourself a good look at reaching this green in two. Oh, that's a sweet-looking swing, that one. From around 220 yards. Seems to have chosen the three-wood. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. <laughs> All right, John, how's this putt looking? That's about a 24 foot putt, I'd say. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Currently one under for the day. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the third hole. Part three, just 177 yards from the back, but this green is always firm. Be wary of that. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, I'm down on the fourth, and this is Tom Feeble. And here we are with the third shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Par four, 384 yards, a long snake-like bunker down the right-hand side to a cool little green with all sorts of movement on it. A very fun hole to play indeed. Time for the second shot here at the four. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Let's head over to the fifth. 
This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. Go in. Ooh. And that should secure the par. Well done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the fifth. Par four, 471 yards. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. That's heading into the rough, I think. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. A spot in the all-important top five coming up if you can hold this. Ouch, that hurts. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. Now three strokes back after that hole. Here we are at the sixth hole. Par four, 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid just for placement in the fairway. This green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Don't get caught out by one. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down to the seventh hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. And back to the course with the live action. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation, it's a thing of beauty. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. 
Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the seventh. Difficult par four, 451 yards. Water and sand all the way down the left-hand side. Hit it out to the right. Find the green with your second and sprint to the next hole, making four. Going with the nine iron, I think. Left yourself an opportunity for this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Make this putt and you'll move into second on the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, that's all class. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. And this part to move into the top ten. Get in the hole. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. I will take that and a spot in the top ten to boot. And after this hole, that's how it looks. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for the puck to be hold here. And this would be a great par putt if you can make this. This one's tracking. Oh, that's a great save. What an effort. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. He's currently tied for third. The final hole on the opening nine at TPC Sawgrass's stadium course, Rich, is a clever three-shotter. Par five, 583 yards. Most players will play this as a three-shotter. Just find the fairway out to the left. Second shot out to the right. Sets up a very simple third shot to a very narrow green. Miss it right or left. Good luck getting it up and down. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. If that's the right pace, this should drop. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Let's return to live play now. And this punt to move into first place on the leaderboard. Booty of the day, and that will take him to five under. Well, here we have it, Rich. This player's tied for the lead with the back nine to play. Yeah, exciting position, isn't it? You'd rather have the lead on your own, but listen, tied for the lead, pretty good spot to be in. They're going to have to work to earn this victory. As you make the turn here at TPC Sawgrass, the 10th hole is a clever one. Pretty basic par four, just 424 yards from the back tee. Players take out a hybrid or a three-wood, hit it out to the right-hand side, which will leave a short second shot. However, lots of undulations on this green, so make sure your second shot is the correct distance. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance.
Wow. Came close with that chip. Great touch. Really nicely played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Just one off the lead after that hole. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side. And you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave and you better know what you're doing because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, that's incredible. He's sold it. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Definitely brave on that one, setting up a nice eagle opportunity, especially since they're one back of the lead. This is a good chance. Oh, birdie with big wings. Great punt. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Well, that's what the doctor ordered. Move into top spot on the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Par 4, 12th. A new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. Good chance this one. Right on six feet. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one. But watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. Unbelievable. Oh, happy days ahead. A hole in one. Can you believe it? Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. Getting ready to play their third. Ah, yes. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. There's a few birdie opportunities out of the gate here on the second nine at TPC Sawgrass, but it really starts to toughen up down the stretch, starting here with a difficult par 4 14. Difficult tee shot on this playing some 481 yards from the tip. You find the fairway and you've got a decent chance of finding the green with your second shot. But if you're out of position anywhere on this hole, your number will go up exponentially. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. This is the 15th hole, guys. Uh, Kevin Kisner getting ready to hit this next shot coming up from the sand let's get back to it shall we eight feet to the cup a good stroke oh what a round this is seven birdies today and now that finds him in first place This hole here is a par four. One of the more simple tee shots on the golf course, par four, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. 
The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I gotta say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Oh, absolutely flushed. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. That's a solid part. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. You've arrived at a par five. Par five, 486 yards. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's exhibit A. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, what a great stroke. Well, it's just about three feet away. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Here we are in front of a par three. Par three, 17th, 137 yards, Island Green. I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? Woo, back there, horsey. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. And that puck will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, just down on the 18th hole as Kevin Kisner gets ready to hit. Yikes! So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Par four, 462 yards, and you're going to find out what kind of player you are when you tee off here. How brave are you? How much do you trust your swing? If you find the fairway, that's a great start, but the second shot awaits. This looks to be heading to the green. Yeah, nice looking shot there. Gotta say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. And that'll do it, Rich. Players' champion. That's one of the elite wins of all the game. Winning the Players' Championship, Luke, is easily as good as winning any major because the field quality is so amazing. This is going to speak volumes for this player and the career going forward. This is a heck of a win. I can't wait to see what they produce next. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Bean, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.